we have a chance to do big things this year, and that's really what I want to be a part of. Now, your head coach, Bob Stoops, he talked about this team having great chemistry. Why is he saying that? Well, what's behind this great chemistry? I think just how close we are as a team. You know, I've been there for a couple of years now, and this is the closest team that I've ever, ever been a part of. We're, uh, we're pretty much like a family, you know. And so I think that's one of the reasons why is just the way we interact with each other. We're all really, really good friends, you know. Landry Jones, he's a guy who's very quiet. At least he seems quiet right now here, Ryan. But I keep on hearing about his leadership, especially on the field. What kind of leader is he? Uh, he's full of leadership. He's got a, a great background. Um, he's a great person. He's more of a, I would say, a father figure. We always joke around about it, but he's full of wisdom. <laughs> he's, full of, he's full of wisdom, you know, uh, to keep it light. But he's a great person. Father figure. Right. Is he a guy that's just looking after everybody in, uh, in the locker room? Well, I, I would say he's one of those guys that you kind of feel intimidated. Uh, you don't want him to say anything wrong around him just because uh, you have that much respect for him. And, and at that, he's a quarterback, and you, you want a guy like that to be our leader. Now, your numbers here, you're, you only need 51 receptions to break the FBS career record with 316. Your quarterback's smiling. He, he's going to play a huge role. What makes Ryan so good to make you perform out there? Um, I, uh, we've been asked this question a lot, but... Um, you know, Ryan is, has a really good feel for where bodies are and where, where space is. And so maybe if the route is, is called for 12 yards, then, then, then break it out. If someone's standing at 12, he's going to run it at 10. I mean, he's just going to get open, you know. And so I think just his feel for the middle of the field uh, really helps him out and really helps me out. And I don't have to be as accurate as I need to. I can just kind of throw it out there and know he's going to make a play. You had a very uh, busy summer. Uh, I saw out there social media-wise. <laughs> Proposal, of course, with your, yeah. your fiance who plays uh, basketball at Oklahoma, Whitney Hand. What was that like? What was that experience like proposing? Um, it was it was probably the most nerve wracking thing that I've I've ever done. You really? Know? Yeah, we're sitting at dinner and um, she's like, "What's wrong with you?" I was like, oh, "Nothing, nothing. Let's just keep keep it in dinner. Let's go watch the Mad Games tonight." And then got to the house, proposed to her, and then. Everything else, trying to plan a wedding now. So did it go as planned? I mean, were you planning on doing it that night at dinner? I mean, yeah, everything yeah. planned. Uh, yeah, I had everything planned out, you know, and uh, everything went smoothly. Your reaction when you guys heard in the locker room that this guy's now going to be potentially a married man? He's in college and he's now has a fiance. Well, yeah, it's, it's crazy. He came to us. Uh, he came to me about maybe two weeks before that, and he was like, "Don't tell anyone. Keep it a secret." And I was like. I won't say anything, you know, so it, it's a good thing that it just shows the, the kind of man he is, that he can fight the pressure of being a college athlete, and he can step away from that and give it back to someone else. Now, you guys also had to deal with another sort of issue in the offseason tragedy in May when your teammate, uh, senior linebacker, uh, Austin Box, he died of a toxic mix of painkillers. How do you guys plan on honoring him this season? Um, we were down in Haiti when that actually happened, you know, um, doing that whole deal for Mission of Hope, and uh, we were down there with nine guys on the team when we heard about it, and so honoring him this year is just the way we live our lives, and the way we live our lives for Christ, and, um, you know, uh, some people might change their numbers, or we might have some on the back of our helmets, but just remembering his life, and remembering the way he lived, the way he played football. Your reaction the same as that. Um, he was a he was a player that was going to go out there through all the injuries he played uh, through. Uh, my the biggest thing I take from that is his perseverance. Um, he always came back. He was a humble person. He was going to give back to the team any way he could. So that's just one of the things that encourages me um, is to fight through pain. And I think a lot of guys in the locker room feel the same way. Yeah, you guys mentioned uh, changing the jersey, potentially wearing number 12. Each player, one player every week, potentially could be wearing that jersey. I think that's what they're going to do on defense. Um, I'm not for sure what, what we're going to do on offense. I'm sure it will be something very, very cool. And, guys, just wish you the best of uh, luck Thank this you. season. Also, a, a healthy season for both you guys. Appreciate the time here. you got Ryan Broyles and Landry Jones of Oklahoma here on SportsCenter. Good luck, guys. Coming up top of the 